Jasper there, and today we're going to be looking at how we find the area and circumference of a circle, and this is level 6. Now before we look at that, I just want to get a few terms labelled on this circle so you know exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So the words that you need to know for this lesson are circumference, radius, area, and diameter. Now the circumference is like the perimeter of the circle, so it's the distance all the way around. It's the same as perimeter, it's just that circle, circles have a special word for it, and that is the circumference. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to label on my diagram the circle itself as the circumference. Now it's important, this is the distance around the circle. The next word I want to look at is this word, the radius. Now what the radius is, is that is the distance from the center of the circle all the way out to the circumference. So I'm just going to label this radius here, and that is the distance again from the center of the circle to the circumference. Now area, like in all shapes, is the space occupied inside the shape itself. So I'm just going to drag the word area inside my shape, and that just shows that this is the whole space inside the circle. And finally, this word diameter, that's the distance from one side of the circle all the way to the other side of the circle, but it must go through the center. So I'm just going to drag this diameter to label there. So this is the distance all the way across, and it must go through the center of the circle. Now the diameter if this distance here is the radius from the center to the circumference and this distance here is also the radius you can get the diameter by just doubling the radius. Now for all circles the following is true. If we do divide the circumference which is the distance around the circle by the diameter then for all circles that will give me the same number which is 3.142 and that's a decimal, it carries on forever and ever. Now just to shorten this, it's given a Greek letter called pi. And this pi is something that we're going to use today to find both the area and the circumference of a circle. So, moving on, I'm going to go through how we find the circumference of a circle using the diameter. And it's given by this formula here. This is something that you have to know. Okay? Circumference is pi, oh, sorry, is pi times the diameter. And you can shorten that to C is pi D, pi times the diameter. So whatever the diameter is, if we multiply it by this, this symbol pi, which is the same as 3.142, and we multiply that number by the diameter, it will give me the circumference. So if we were to just go through an example of this, for this circle here, the diameter is equal to 12. So using my formula, circumference is pi times diameter. Now in all of these questions, you should be aiming for three things. Formula, working, and then your answer. So for my working, I'm going to write 3.142 for pi times the diameter, times 12. Now this is a calculator question, so I'm just putting that into my calculator now, 3.142 times 12, and that gives me 37.704. But I'm just going to write this as 37.7. Now if this diameter is in centimetres, the circumference being a length, will also be in centimetres. And all I've done here is I've rounded it to one decimal place. The difference with this second question here is that you're not given the diameter, you're given the radius. So what I'd like you to do, given that this formula requires the diameter, is we're going to write next to the table, next to the circle, sorry, what the diameter is. Now if the radius is four centimetres, like I said previously, the diameter, which is all the way across, would be double that, which would be 8 centimetres. So again, my formula is pi times diameter. That is equal to 3.142 times 
8 centimetres. Again, calculator question. If I put this into my calculator, you can check this at home while you're doing this. I get 25.136. And I'm going to round that again to one decimal place. So 25.1 centimetres. Now the question will specify whether they want it to one decimal place or two decimal places or three significant figures. So because these are calculated questions, make sure you pay attention to what degree of accuracy the question specifies. So this is how you find the circumference of a circle. What I'd like to do is move on and go through how you find the area of a circle. Okay, so the area is given by a different formula, which is pi times the radius squared. Or in other words, a is pi r squared. Now the key here is you have to square the radius, the length, first before you multiply by pi. And again, just like the formula for circumference, this is a formula that you have to remember for your exam. So, going through some examples, these are exactly the same two circles as the previous example of the circumference, except this time we're going to be finding the area, that's the space inside the shape. Now because this formula requires the radius, in this first example where I'm given the diameter is 12, I want to know what the radius is. So for this circle, the radius, if the distance all the way across is 12, the radius would be half that, so 6 centimetres. So again, we're going to start with our formula, pi r squared. If we have our working, that's 3.142 times 6 squared. Now remember, I'm only squaring my 6, so I'm going to rewrite this as 3.142. 6 squared, that's 6 times 6, is 36. Putting that into my calculator again gives me 113.112. Now again, I'm going to round this to one decimal place, so 113.1. Now, because this is an area, if the length is given to us in centimetres, the units would be centimetres squared. And finally, for this example, again, you're given the radius this time. So because the formula uses the radius, we're going to go a is pi times radius squared. Because the radius is 4, we can put that straight in there. So in our working, it's going to be 3.142 times 4 squared. That's equal to, remember, we square the 4 first. So 3.142 times 16. Plugging that into my calculator gives me 50.272. And again, just in these examples, I'm going to round to one decimal place. That would be 50.3, and not forgetting the units of area, centimetres squared.